Sometimes I think I only sing those just to make myself laugh. <laughs> it's saying put yourself in the right frame of mind <laughs> or me. Put myself in the right frame of mind to just have a giggle. <laughs> because look, there's far too much seriousness in life that spirituality should be a laugh. <laughs> well, it's for me. <laughs> don't know about you so um what do i want to say um that's been coming through a lot recently is this sense of old time like a reminder of old times times gone times that are just finished and that we can <clears throat> dwell on but it's better actually to dwell on where you might be going. And there is no, see, this could all change. I don't know. But at the moment, there is this real sense of, you like that side of my energies. <laughs> Gone a bit kind of weird as if, <laughs> as if I'm part of the wall. Um, <clears throat> there is this sense of, yeah, hmm. Do we drift or do we intend direction? And I think sometimes that the intention of direction is not wrong, but it's not the best method. There's something about trusting in the now that needs a, a greater sense of just divine flow and trust. Trust. So I'm just going to start got the lift room healing oracle deck that's a bit weird there are the mm. they're sticky <laughs> what message do you have see that it's condal so this is the candle, the big universal divine light. And it talks about um, cosmic doubt and ulcer. So that sense, oh, yeah, mm, that's interesting. So those moments we all go through where we have a kind of spiritual doubting, the doubting Thomas. I don't know why the name Thomas has got some connection at the moment. But anyway, let's just move forwards. So we have a second one. The first one is just saying there is a frequency, a divine frequency out there, the music of the spheres, and it has... It's playing a symphony. It's playing this amazing orchestral piece. And you are the soloist. It's meant to be a concerto. And you haven't arrived at the theatre yet. <laughs> so, bind yourself. That's really interesting. Bind yourself doubtlessly to your pathway forwards. Don't try necessarily to create your path forwards. Let's all have a moment right now as Pluto moves of just seeing where our divine pathway wants to lead us. I find that hard. <laughs> Being just honest with you, because all the things that we see online, thousands of videos, hundreds of thousands of videos, and look, I've done it as well, you know, set an intention. And yet I feel as though we're being told at the moment, let go of all your intentions and just have a flow. So we've got rot. And moon in Sagittarius. But here, look, this is saying 
decompose the old patterns. That's that thing of, for me, <laughs> if you look, I'm in the 1970s. Everything that's channeling through me randomly at the moment is from the 1970s to just kind of say, that was your childhood and it's gone. It's not that you need to feel mournful or sad or anything about that, but just acknowledging the fact that in linear time that we're moving in, it's done. So we're looking for a new tune. Because all I'm hearing are really old tunes. Tunes I don't remember remembering. <laughs> they just, they come through fully formed. You see, that's interesting. Lean in to create. But I think what it's trying to say there today is lean in to the open, endless possibilities from the music of the spheres, the condal, the greater cosmic symphony, and that will create a new um, timeline following illuminations. Acting in alignment with our higher purpose is to is to just sense what the heart where where the higher purpose wishes to lead us. Oh, and this is the state of pronoia. Let's all just go through a moment where we just trust the divine pathway, renew a faith in where it wants to take us, regardless of you know. All of the things, because it will keep bringing up to test our faith. The divine often has a tendency as you move forward to test you, often through trauma or isolation. And you need to just embrace it because it's in that oneness that you will find your own true oneness. So... What else, what else, what else would you like to come through? Little card down there. <laughs> oh, do you know, the thing is, I was just sitting there and I was thinking, it's so lovely, because I've been trying to ask for just a reading that's not part of this Pluto soap opera story. And I was like, it's really nice to have just a general. <laughs> Hello, Pluto. Pluto. <laughs> Identifying stuck shadows. Well, that's what this is. Your past, the more you wind and weave around it and remember it, is a stuck shadow. It doesn't need to be there. You need to change that. So <laughs> let's just, Pluto is the spine. The spine in sound healing, for me, is outside of your body. All your other energies come through the spine to be wired into your system. So it's a C-sharp, D-flat. So let's just think of your spine and think of this note going up and down the whole body. I will try and move it. If you put your headphones on, you'll hear it better inside your body. to the side so maybe we need to draw this energy up Ooh. 
So there's Pluto. <laughs> See, I want to go Pluto, draw back your bow again. <laughs> it seems like the most trivial song <laughs> to sing around Pluto. But look, Pluto is very complicated. And, and I do, the more I've been tuning in to Pluto, the more I think we are demonising his character somehow. We're denying him the gifts, the beauty, the love that he can bring to us. And Pluto is Hades, and it's the ruler of the underworld, and it's this... Cosmic soap opera currently, it's all about him. And I really get the sense that I'm being channeled through my understanding. A story that I imagine is unfolding, but is not going to be the story that really unfolds. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> being really neatening up the cards with my Virgo stellium. Um, so, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take this deck, I'm gonna take the other deck and ask Pluto, what do you wanna, <laughs> what do you wanna, what would you like to say, Pluto, right now? What would you like to share with anyone watching today? So there's one card down, on the floor, which is Razor, Alchemize, Explore. Hmm. And those there. I just wanted more than one. So look, Pluto is just saying, if you cannot explore and alchemize yourself, you, you won't get anywhere. Because we've got this one, again, this card that just will not leave us is becoming the energy of your destined, your bestined, <laughs> your destined best pathway timeline. So by exploring you and your attitudes to Pluto, and look, Pluto represents the whole world because he owns everything under the land. Our whole world functions on how we take everything from beneath the surface of the earth to make our modern world that we live in. I'm not saying Pluto's annoyed about that, <laughs> but just think about it. Think about what it is that we take from the world around us to make the world that we live in and celebrate. Or maybe you don't celebrate. Maybe that's part of what we have to look at. So this is your ultimate timeline. It's coming underneath rot. So until you've decompo decomposed, see, and that's putting everything back into the earth. So that's making me think of how when I went around on my travels, originally I was giving all of my crystals back that I'd loved to sacred spaces and places all around um to return them and just say thank you I'm not saying you need to go and bury your crystals but again this is just Pluto asking you to explore what do you believe what do you believe is this frequency for you and how, what are you changing? What are you decomposing of your old philosophy, your past philosophy, the way you shone in the world? It's now time to connect to a greater symphonic thing and be the soloist, be the concerto player in your life. And then... We have these two. Raid and Treadle. Raid is a journey. 
Unsaddle from the tangled stitches that hold you fast. The past. Untangle. Untangle from it. Let it all go. It's gone. You don't need to dwell on it. And then this treadle, this is the golden path. This is the energy of walking every single step. Uh, you see, with loving intention, but I, there's something coming across here which is, you won't, you won't have to focus on it. Focusing on it is the practice. It's a bit like that message the other day about standing on your own two feet, walking with the Zimmer frame, and still you, until you can throw it away, and how we stumble, how we trip, or how we fall over. This is about how the truth of the golden path, the truth of moving past the cosmic doubts that we are meant to have because it's in those doubts that you find the nutrients to stand on your own two feet. This is when you just are. You just are walking in loving intentions. So I'm going to go to the other deck now and see what Pluto wants to add. So Pluto, what else do you want to add? He's, got, he's busy, he's got a lot to say. Um, I'm going to put that one down there because I think that's the bit we can't see. There's a whole series on the floor, which are kind of inevitable, and then there's a series on the table. Pulverise, <clears throat> atomise the pains. The gong bath, this... It's interesting because Pluto is a soft timpani role. And this is a gong. It's like this huge sonorous energy pushing through us. So pulverize, atomize the pains. Oh, and it's got quincunx with it. All the things that are now at odds with your destined future. Now that's tricky in that I've just said to you, trust so you don't need to know but you need to speculate what no longer belongs what doesn't belong how do you repair yourself how do you make yourself easy so you're atomizing pains pulverize comes with this image of all the hurts in your life are this solid big rock that you just keep smacking yourself over the head with and how we have to chip away at each one and release it and transform it till in the end that rock is just powder and you can throw the powder in the air and you can headbutt it and it no longer hurts. So that's really what this is talking about. Try and find a way to break down all the, all the hurts that you've collected in your saddlebag. Oh, this is to do with horses and saddles. It's like you're riding... See, I'm now... <laughs> You're in the ride of the Valkyrie. Ba 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 Um, and yeah, ho to ho. That sort of diving in, and it's like we're almost oh, blinkers, horses with blinkers. This is the race you're on. This is the Grand National. This is the Derby. Just get, run it. Just run it. Take the blinkers off and work out where the hurts are. Break them down and transform the frequencies so that Pluto oh, can take you by the hand and lead you into Aquarius. Oh. So the next two that we have. This is, <clears throat> this is, that was like being a teenager. That was like when your voice breaks. <laughs> You have no control over the octave. This is what Pluto has. Look, it's it's two triangles. Big, passionate ideas that has this completely melodious <clears throat> comfort. Excitable, total social enjoyment. He really is. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Spontaneity, burning desires, stepping in whirling splendour and moving as one harmonious body 
through the earth. It's almost like this. Every single doorway is built from Pluto. <laughs> so I am dazzling. I am cordial. That's what Pluto is feeling right now. So, but, mm, mm, oh, here they are. This pile that went down below, what do we have? The mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall that you've been looking into isn't really you. It's a great big intoxication. Earthing ourselves, bringing ourselves down into a pragmatic, physical, Plutonian truth. Oh. I think Pluto is your cosmic plus one. In terms of part of this journey, there's a cosmic plus nine million, I'm sure. But in this story here, Pluto's like, I'll be your cosmic plus one. Oh, double concerto. He's like, let me be your partner at the keyboard. Let me, let's us together be a double concerto. Let's make music together and let's whip up an excitement in the symphony. And then we have Eris. Let's make some chaos, baby. <laughs> Because it's from within the chaos, because this is, ah, oh, see, that's why. Um, it's about changing our ego. Pluto will change our ego. Pluto's like, I, um, I know all about ego. I've done ego. And it actually, it leads to people making up untruths about you that hurt. So... Let go of the ego. I'll join you at the keyboard. There's four hands now. We're a double concerto. There's no one soloist. There's no speciality here. It's us and the whole orchestra playing together. And then, oh, yes, look, youth orchestra. It will put a spring back into your step. So I'm just going to... I am distinct. I am shadowy. Lose the shadows. You've been in the shadows. Lose them now. Time to skip this track. I am depressed. Oh, it's really sad. <laughs> um, I am heartened. So I'm going to keep these over. Distinct, heartened. Oh, dropping cards all over the place. Meaningless or substantial? Oh, that's not that one. It's this. No, it's this one next. I've muddled them all now. Alone or partnered at the keyboard? Are you just playing your own song that no one's listening to? Or are you going to play a song with Pluto? And then... Eris is chaotic or ordered and then here with Hermea aloe or creative I am distinct heartened substantial partnered ordered and creative I am performing a double concerto. Oh, look, you see now, Yana, I want to say that's exactly it. What's the line? Let the sound of two hearts vibrate entwined as one and keep spinning a tender talismanic thread for another in eternal ecstasy. Talismanic thread with Pluto. That's today's goal. <laughs> I think it's part, oh, there's one more card, you see, that's, so the final card, which was in the deck that we can't see yet, Essence, 
us. Our true essence lies in our relationship to cosmic Pluto, Earth Pluto. The alchemy of astrology moving through us musically as a frequency. So inner core nature, your musical autograph relies on you re-threading and twisting a talismanic thread of ecstasy with Pluto. So there you go. I'm going off to play with Pluto. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> well, he is hot, Hades. So anyway, we'll sail for now. Bye.